Hello there Aquarius, welcome. Okay, so Spirit wants to check out people that are not connected. Why they're not connected? Why, what is the bottom line? What's going on here? Maybe it could help someone um, understand something. So let's see, with you Aquarius, why are you in a disconnect with someone? Why are you in a disconnect? Now you can actually be with this person, but you feel like there's you don't have the connection you used to have. You could be not seeing this person, no, not talking. But let's see. Why are you in disconnect? There's a very independent energy here that's coming up. Probably you, Aquarius. Doing your own thing, very independent. Hmm. Maybe this person wants a little more attention. The problem with Aquarius is like going all over the place here. We have the sun. There's happiness to be had. I almost feel like the disconnect is someone is trying to get your attention. They're trying to, you make them happy, but you're doing something else or you're paying attention to your work or you're, pay, you're doing an independent thing here. Okay, we do have the king of pentacles. That's interesting you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wanting financial security with you, wanting um, like to settle down. This is someone that is saying, "Listen, I want to be." This is a very stable energy, and someone wants to be stable with you. Okay, get a charm on this King of Pentacles. Ooh, we have the castle. Something about maybe a home. Something about someone's home. Someone might be coming to someone's home. This could be also something about family. Family, home, security, familiar, um, safe. I almost feel like this person feels like you feel like home. Okay. And it, and it feels like on a spiritual sense. Okay, so let's see about this Nine of Pentacles. Temptation. So this is deception, seven of swords, self deception. Make wise choices. Hmm. Someone's holding back. The sun. Why is the sun here? And we have a timing card. They're waiting for the right time. Spring. And that is planting seeds, plans, preparation, putting in the work, seven of pentacles. Someone will be happy to put in the work with you to make this work, but someone's holding them back. Okay, let's see about this king of pentacles. What's the scoop on this king of pentacles? Okay, so we have manifest, ace of earth. Okay, um, this is stable romance, new financial start, prosperity rewards long-term security. See, we can look at this King of Pentacles, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be your energy that you're starting something here. Almost feels like, you know, you don't have time for something else. You're planting seeds, you're doing stuff, but you also, in the meantime, back at the ranch... You have this King of Pentacles. So I'm going to split the King of Pentacles for your energy and this person. I think you're focusing on your money and you're going to, if you're not doing well, you're going to do well. But your folk, that is your main focus. But you have a King of Pentacles here that wants a fresh start with you. Wants to invest. Wants to plant seeds. You make them happy. So... We're still not knowing why, though. Okay. Let me um, do one more card. Ripeness. See, this is the Nine of Pentacles. I think this is really you focusing on your doing your own independent energy here. And you'll... 
there's also things that you have to take care of it seems like now with the sun and this um timing card the spring seven of pentacles We have clinging to the past. Now someone is, this is the um, five of swords. So there is someone that is clinging to what happened in the past. You might both be clinging to this, of how something happened here, something was not right. Someone wants to work on this. Someone is realizing something here. They're getting more clarity on a situation. They might be realizing that someone did something here. The five of swords could be other people involved. I think someone's coming to realization that there was someone that was trying to sabotage this. Hmm. And now they want to make things right. They're not exactly sure how. They're contemplating. They're planning. They're trying to strategize here. They want a new start. And then we have patience here. Patient card is again the Seven of Pentacles. This person does a lot of planning. <laughs> um, I don't see action. I see just thinking and planning and reassessing and reevaluating. And that is the problem. I almost feel like if this person really wants to reconnect, they have to make a move. They have the Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer something here. I also know how to cough come up. Interruptions. Coughing. Wanting to speak. Mm. Maybe afraid of what they're going to say. Will it come out right? Is that it? Let me see about this King of Pentacles. Healing. Excited, friend or friends. So maybe is this person going to bring other people into this, or are they going to try to start as friends with you? Maybe you haven't been talking at all, so it might be okay. Let's start from scratch. Let's start from the beginning. Person's in their head a lot, though. I feel someone really thinking, but I feel the energy I'm getting is like you are on your way to financial success and happiness. This person, they might be okay financially. They, I mean, you have the King of Pentacles. They're trying to be stable, and they, but they want a new start with you. And now also, I feel very congested. Someone's dealing with allergies, or someone's very congested. Came, came out with the cough. It came out with this King of Pentacles might be not feeling too well. They might be dealing with some kind of allergies or a cold or something. Okay. Uh, okay, so, um... What can we expect next? So let's go there. What can we expect next in this connection? Ace of Cups. There's going to be a love offer coming in. And we have the Three of Cups. Someone is trying to get the strength, the nerve, the courage to ask someone out. Okay. Okay, there's love here. There's someone has to the it feels like someone has to do the self love here. So we have um, intentions, focus on desires of the heart, self worth, expansion. And manifesting. Okay, I think this is this person trying to come towards you. They're doing work on themselves. I think they're realizing something here. They're coming to a realization. So we have here abundance, windfall, gifts, celebration, promotion, opportunity, success, ventures. Okay, uh, this person wants to shower you with gifts. 
they want to lay it on thick here. They want to give you everything. And it's not like, it almost feels like that's what their heart desire. It, it feels like, you must have been dealing with someone that was immature before or something like that. It almost feels like it would make me so happy to make you happy. Okay, let's see about this um, strength card. I think that's all they wanted to You made them happy and they took advantage or they did something here. And now they're realizing their their mistakes. So we have here um, Pluto letting go. Death card. Endings. And it's um, transformation and someone's trying to take back some power here to do get the strength to do this they want to transform they and this one want to come out too so i'm going to take it so we have here mercury so communication text phone call downloads news is on the way okay this person is getting the courage to come in they're changing their ways they about them they they they're realizing something so this disconnect there will be i think you will have a connection again and it's up to you if you want it. If this is someone you don't want, then I don't, then you shouldn't be watching this anyway. You shouldn't be interested in it. So, um, you know, if you don't want this connection, don't watch this. <laughs> because you, it's, all, it's up to you anyway. But someone is like, all oh, stuffy. It's like, I'm stuffy now. Oh my God. See my voice? Also, I'm stuffy. <laughs> okay. So, Aquarius, what should you be doing right now? Let's look at your energy. What should you be doing? So we have judgment and the fool. Okay, it's up to you if you want this beginning. They're coming in with an offer, and it's totally up to you. It's like the ball's in your court, what you want to do. But you could have a new beginning with this person if you want it. Aries Aquarius energy with the fool. Totally up to you. Yes, this is a past connection. This if this, this person, you might have past lives with this person. This is very deep. This is very loving. It's very caring. Did I do this right? Why oh, didn't put another one up there? Huh. Okay, let me put some another card up here, right? And we did two. Let me get a little more into that. control this is the king of swords here this person is trying to take control here to um be able to speak their truth here that's what they're trying to do here let me get something on this you could be dealing with aquarius libra gemini and i think this person just knows that they need to come in and speak the truth i don't think they did before they held back um we have here what is this a butter yeah they're they're in the process of change here they're definitely changing something. Okay, now. Next one. Oh, totality here. So this person is this is the This is the five of wands. And this is what this coming together with you. There's a they're bringing something to the table here. They really do want to reconnect. Five is change. Yeah, they want to change things. Okay. Got the death card here. Major transformation going on. This person's going through a major change and they're they're hoping to change the um, situation with you. Now we have here, yeah, the creator. This is the king of wands. So this person is coming in with a lot of charm, a lot of determination. They're taking the lead here. The strength card, very strong Leo here. Because we've got the creator, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, they're trying to come in here and speak. Scorpio with Pluto, maybe, energy. Virgo, maybe, with Mercury. But, um, let's see. We have here. They're coming in with some gifts, I feel. 
they cut they have a pearl here so the pearl could be wisdom too they're coming in wiser but they're coming and give bring you something here they want to give you a gift look at that got the hand with the pearl now this could also be the universe giving you a gift or giving them a gift a wisdom here okay But I think they physically want to give you something, some kind of gift. We have, pre look at that, present. Now, this could be a present. This could be in the present or present you with something. Okay. So, we have present and we have separate, omitted. Okay. So, someone's going to omit something and maybe why it would cause a separation. That they're, maybe they're going to realize something. I think they're coming to more realization that they didn't have before. Okay. Let me see. Let me go back to this now. What you can be doing here. What's happening here? You got your choice here. There's someone from the past. Someone wanting to make things right with you. The judgment. Something coming back around. Yeah, the very strong something coming back. Someone coming back around for a beginning. New beginning. Now we have here the timing card. Rebirth winter. So this is um, turning inward major changes transition from light to darkness this person is coming in to totally different this is like the um winter i almost feel like this person is just wakening up it's it's almost feel like the energy i'm feeling is this person is coming out of hibernation realization hibernation wanting to make things work okay the fool card we have here autumn Harvest timing card. The past is over. Starting over. And it's um so growth. There's a clearing. New intentions. This person's coming in with totally a new intentions. Totally a new way of looking at this. Wow. You just ate the thing is that what you're supposed to do is just just see what happens. Let them speak their peace. If you don't, you'll never know. Don't shut them off. Otherwise, otherwise you're you know you're blocking yourself from having information here. So we have here um, reflections, shadow work. So soul searching, deep introspective, evaluation, hermit energy, and it's a void period. And then we have doubts on this card. We have lonely negativity missed opportunity not hopeful for a cup see this person is not sure in the past if you would take this offer but they all feel like they have to come in anyway they need to reconnect with you now if if they don't if energy i'm feeling like okay they might have waited on this for too long and if they don't do something about it then they're going to be out of luck here because they never know if this could have been something else if if there could have been a possibility to reignite this connection so they have to come in because they're not i feel like someone's energy is getting bothered by spirit like pushing them nagging them um and they're not going to be able to stop until they do something okay so we have look at that yeah that's exactly what it is it's awareness here This person becoming more aware of what they're supposed to do here. This would be chariot energy being pushed. This is like, this is the seven, which in the major arcana is a chariot. This person is being pushed towards you to speak their peace. It's totally a few. This is going to come in quick too. They might also need to just get the courage and come in. Um, we have their morality here. So this card, you're talking about Queen of Swords. They know they're coming up against the Queen of Swords here. You have the Queen and King of Swords here. This is, this is telling me that you guys are going to have a very sit down discussion. King and Queen of Swords, laying everything out on the table, opening up, just speaking your peace. You know, if you're not sure about this connection, what do you have to lose to say exactly how you feel about this? You know, you get get everything out. You don't have to be ruthless, but just speak your 
piece about how you feel about how you're treated or whatever happened here. Okay, let's see. And do it with a little kindness because this person has been going through a lot to try to change for this connection. So let's see. We have here Pegasus. They're coming in with good news. Okay. And we have moment to moment. So this is the two of pentacles. This is trying just going by the yeah, just just see what happens is what I'm getting here. You got this person coming in from the past. They've been doing a lot of heavy duty shadow work, you know, going deep within, trying to find out what they need to do to make this work. They're trying to come in to bring balance into this connection. I think this is beautiful. Someone's definitely coming around. They're realizing something they didn't realize before. They want to reconnect with you. You mean a lot to them. Let's see, the Queen of Swords we have here. Committed, confess, tower. Yeah, the, the X is going to shock the crap out of you. Whatever happens here. Uh, Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. They're coming in. They want a commitment, but they're going to shock you when they confess. I don't know what they're going to say, but it's going to be totally shocking to you. You're not going to expect this. Whatever it is, you are not going to. And I can't tell you what it is. A lot of times people say, what is going to be? I don't know. It's, it's different for everyone. So, let's see. Let's look at the possible outcome then. Possible outcome. Ooh, Ace of Wands, a passionate new start, a new beginning, fire. We have a lot of passion here. And we also have, I think you're connecting spiritually. You have a, a intuition. You're connecting in your, with your intuition here. Look at that. Choices. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and King of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So I feel like you guys are very attracted to each other. There's this chemistry, this passion, this desire, but you might have choices. So this is totally up to you. You have the judgment card here. You have the seven of cups. You have other options. You don't have to be with this person you don't want to, but you're going to feel this passion. You're going to feel this desire. They're going to re restart something. You might have thought that that, um, that flame went out, but they know how to light that pilot again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see this Queen of Wands. We have here a guitar. Okay, it might be something about music. You guys have a connection with music. It could be actually a guitar. It could be any musical instrument. It could be just saying there is some kind of connection with you guys. Maybe you listen to music and it triggers things within each of you. There's some certain songs that, that you connect to that when you hear these songs, you could only think about each other. It, there's something about music here. Okay. Let's see about this Ace of Wands. So we have here, receive, open. And this is being receptive here. This opening up to this, um, to generosity, uh, gifts, assistance. Six of Pentacles. This person wants to give to this connection. There's going to be an even give and take. I don't think there was in the past, but there is going to be one now. What about this Queen of Wands? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I definitely feel like it, you guys are King and Queen of Wands. And then we have the King and Queen of Swords. There's a strong connection. You guys are on the same wavelength. We have North Mode. So we have Destiny, Fate, Evolution, Flying in life path, karmic challenges and rewards. This person, you need to have this discussion. Whether or not you decide to come together, that is totally up to you. But this person is trying their hardest to make an effort. If they didn't in the past, they sure are doing it now. Okay, we have here disharmony and we have triggers. So we have conflict, competition, five of wands, um, arguments, and harsh communication see maybe that's why you're not sure you say hey we went through some stuff before so you're unsure if you know 
This could be other people involved saying, you know, I'm not dealing with this crap. Find out what's going on with them. If you haven't seen them in a while, maybe they're not connected. This might be family, might be friends, might be co-workers. They might not be involved with those people anymore. Or they will realize what happened with them. Maybe they realize that this was something that was involved. Okay. Or somebody. There's something about competition and choices. And I think you always had a lot of choices. And this person knows it. And maybe they're jealous of it. Okay. So we have here no thingness. Okay. So this is actually the Hierophant. And this is talking about like, you know, just go in within. Just see how, go blank. Almost feels like that's what you need to do. Go blank and see what happens. There is a very strong connection that wants to rebirth here, wants to come back in. You you know, this person wants to give to this connection. You could be dealing with Taurus, Hierophant energy, commitment. Projection, see? You guys are feeling each other. You're projecting on each other. Queen of Wands... And this is this fate, this, you know, destiny. You both feel this. You are thinking about each other. Look at that. You're both projecting. You're thinking. A very strong connection. Okay. And we have here sharing. Look at that. Okay. Okay. This is the Queen of Wands again. There is a very strong creative energy here. A, tr a passion, a desire. You got the Queen of Wands here twice. Okay. Let me get a charm of this Queen of Wands. You, ha you guys share the same um, feelings. It's deep. And we have here a wolf. There's like... I feel like you guys could form your own pack. The wolf to me is a teacher, but it's also the lone wolf, but it's also the wolf, you know, they, they travel in packs, but they could travel alone too. I almost feel like you are each other's pack. It's like um, the alpha male and alpha female energy here. Okay, let me get the words on the queen of... First Queen of Wands. We have Mary, Karma, Message. Okay, so, so maybe someone sent someone a message while they are married. Or some kind of karma that happened. You might hear something about this. Someone might be married right now. And they might be reaching out and sending you a message. Okay. Now what about this other Queen of Wands? Before. Feelings. Desire. I almost feel like you guys always had feelings for each other and desire. It feels like from the get-go. From the minute you guys met. It was instant. So before there actually were feelings, you guys had this strong desire, this pull, because you're supposed to be together. Okay, let's see here. What we don't see. The star. Aquarius energy. Hopes and wishes and dreams come true. Let's see. And we have here, this one is masculine energy, yang. So this is logical, confident, assertive, protective. But they also could be wounded, controlling, and apprehensive and in their ego a little bit okay now we have comparison you know what get this comparison card you guys are probably a lot you, you, you guys are like you have a very strong desire and connection and but you guys are from like different different cultures or there's something different about you but you're both strong in your own sense it's like you're you're different 
but you're the same. It's like you have a strong inner strength. We're comparing here the oak tree to the bamboo. Here's a solid oak, heavy duty, you know, big girth type of tree. Then you have this skinny bamboo, but both these woods are very, very strong. So I feel like that's you guys. You're different, but you're both strong. You probably both maybe um maybe a little pig head maybe too, right? Um Hey, you're a fixed sign, Aquarius. Maybe you're dealing with another fixed sign. But this is something that if you want it, if you really want it, you can have it. And um, your person, even though there's a disconnect, they want so bad to be with you. Okay, let's see what signs we could be dealing with. What are the signs here? I think I'll put it right off over the side here. Okay, what are the signs? For Aquarius, placement your chart, placement other people chart, past, present, and future. We have a Cancer. Pisces. Libra. I want to stay with connect to the other one. Scorpio. Oh, we have all the water signs, huh? Libra and Gemini. Wow. So we have your sister signs here. All right. So placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Now Oh, forgot when I clear off the table to put on a new um, background here I put all my crystals in with the <laughs> with the um, the letters and I forget to take them out and I'm trying to take them out okay let's get 11 letters for initials first name last name you get both someone's first and last initial and they have a middle name and you know that middle name you get that initial also all the better past present and future also your own initials we have a B, a P, a D, <clears throat> a K, a P, <clears throat> a C, N, K, M, O, W. The letters we have for today are B, P, D, K, P, C, N, K, M, O, W. All right, guys. So those are the letters. Now remember, these are general readings. Just take if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. And your donations i appreciate it all i hope to see you all again real soon i'm still it's all stuffed up for but somebody hope to see you soon thank you so much